Unity International Schools presents the Governing Board Chairman's 2018 PhD thesis proposal defense at the University of Abuja, FCT, Nigeria, on Wednesday, 18th April 2018. Organizers took host, Department of Economics, University of Abuja, panelist, Professor Sarah Ayau, Professor Olani Yi, Professor Shinya Peters, other panelists, Professor S. J. Obansa, Professor James Adam, Professor Michael Jimasa, Dr. M. Yelwa, an associate professor, Dr. David Okurafo, Dr. M. Sabiu, Dr. Isa Mohammed, and Dr. Emmanuel Hassan. Produced by Unity International Schools website www.us-edu.com. Again, www.us-edu.com. Facebook, facebook.com slash Unity International Schools Abuja. Again, facebook.com slash Unity International Schools Abuja. Telephone 080-33-11-0711. Again, 080-33-11-0711. And 080-742-86334. Again, 080-742-86334. Supervisors, Professor Sira Ayam and Dr. Isa Mohammed. Cameraman, Samuel Bewaji, directed by, uh, directed and edited by Mr. David O. Oyetunji, Governing School Board Chairman. Happy Free. Unity International Schools presents the Governing Board Chairman's 2018 PhD thesis proposal defense at the University of Abuja, FCT, Nigeria, on Wednesday, 18th April, 2018. Organizers took host, Department of Economics, University of Abuja, panelist, Professor Sira Ayau, Professor Olani Yi, Professor Shinya Peters, other panelists, Professor S. J. Obansa, Professor James Adam, Professor Michael Jimasa, Dr. M. Yelwa, an associate professor, Dr. David Okurafo, Dr. M. Sabiu, Dr. Isa Mohammed, and Dr. Emmanuel Hassan. We have engine, we have chassis, 
We have body, we have fair, miscellaneous parts, which are screws, all those things. Now, the, if you look at all this, the object of the automotive industry. I can now move on to the statement of, uh, of the problem. According to Rose City, he said that 600 motor vehicles being imported annually, 85% of it are used vehicles. We can imagine that out of these 600,000 that are being uh, imported, assuming they are produced in the country, the impact it will have on the economy. Likewise, with the uh, presently automobile plants, they are near public in Nigeria. That is, they imported most of them into the country. Right now, like a National Automotive Design and Development Council, through their automotive policy, they have made what they put in place, number one is SKD, which is selling up down, you know, fast. And that is exactly what most of them are doing. They bring in the past body, which is almost complicated. They bring all those things and do few value addition, which is not really making serious impact. We have CKD. Of course, that automotive policy has made it that by last year, the essential granted there has stopped. So, and uh, they have to move into CKD, which will have more impact. The third one is that we all know that in the 1970s, there are so many of them, especially the five automotive industries that were established, like Bidu Automotive, Automobile Nigeria Limited in Kaduna, like uh, Steer Nigeria Limited in Bauchi, like uh, Leland Nigeria Limited in uh, Ibadan, National Truck Manufacturer in uh, all these things, they were established. Okay, what is happening? They have become more remote. Why? Because Number one, there is inadequacy or unavailability of raw materials. We know most of them will depend on the steel, on plastic, which are not available in the country and they are being imported. And likewise, the scar foreign exchange. Of course, we all know it's seriously biting and you know affecting them. What of human development, capital development is also a problem. What of technological development is a problem, technological transfer. You know, if you look at Japan, you can see, because the technology was not really transferred. If you look at some of their parts that are being copied, they are being sourced overseas. Whereas if you go to India, you will see a cluster where they produce all this. They're supposed to work hand in hand with them, develop them, and they have the local content, which is not really available. So, who 2017 said that 75% of the existing automotive companies in Nigeria deal on car sales and about 80% on used cars. And that is the situation in Nigeria. It's a very big uh, problem. So with this study, we find out do we have increase or decrease in terms of job creation, in terms of capital utilization, sales volume, and foreign trade, that is import and export. Employment, creation, productivity, sales volume, and foreign trade, which is import and export. So, what is the impact of employment creation in automotive industry as on economic growth in Nigeria? Two, to what extent has productivity, productivity in automotive industry of Nigeria impacted on economic growth? And what is the impact of sales volume in automotive industry on economic, part, uh, economic growth in Nigeria? This sales volume is very, very key because most of the automotive uh, uh, assembly plants, we are complaining that it is the volume that is the major problem because the people do not buy. So they are not buying and so the unit cost is not really coming down and of course the income of people. Is there any part of foreign trade, imports and exports in Nigeria, in automotive industry or the economy growth? If you look at Nigeria today, the importers of used cars. So we are yet that in the past there were uh, we, we had boom in the industry, industry, which we need to look at. We can move to the objectives of the study. Therefore, to examine the impact of automotive industries, employment pressure on economic growth in Nigeria, 
to evaluate the impact of automotive industries' productivities or urban growth in Nigeria to assess the impact of automotive industries on sales, I mean, sales volume on urban growth in Nigeria and lastly, to examine the impact of automotive industry foreign trade, that is import and export on urban growth in Nigeria. You look at the statement of the hypothesis, the H01, employment creation in automotive industry has no significant impact on economic growth in Nigeria. H02, productivity in automotive industry has no significant impact on economic growth in Nigeria. H03, sales volume in automotive industry has no significant impact as those in turn part of economic growth in Nigeria and H04 foreign trade, exports and export in automotive industry has no significant impact on the economic growth in Nigeria. Significance of the study, like I have mentioned, if we know that uh, automotive industry is a major instrument for economic growth. So it is very, really, very really important if we need to be as we are looking for how our economy will grow, we are looking for our employment to grow, and so many other things. So it is very important here. Yeah? Another thing is that it, uh, it, is, it stimulates other manufacturing activities. So we can go on like that. Well, we, the scope. The scope is that it covered 1987 to 2017. Then I will quickly move to um, I can look at the history. Well, when we look at the inner week, we see that we have a cluster and we are really developing this as a result of palm oil that was being developed there. And right here, we have, uh, we, we have them in that spirit, medium and oil rest. Innocent very manufacturing, which is a Nigerian indigenous, is seriously producing. I move to my. Uh, my critical review. On my critical review for Nigeria's 2020 I said that uh, in his own analysis of why Nigeria failed has not been on the Nigeria road, he stated this in his uh, uh, results, he revealed that 60,000 of Nigerian families have been imported and more than 85 they are used to. I use uh, a critical review of in my theoretical framework, I use the classical and the uh, only last one which talks about market friendly approach, which talks of government intervention. So, government intervention in Nigeria, we are still for government to intervene. Right now, in the Community Council, we have 35 uh, automotive policy, 35 percent for those who are thinking fully these cars and I mean, two percent for those who are really CKs that can really make impact on the automotive industry. My methodology, so uh, auto regression, ADF, carrier some test, and <laughs> on the estimation variables. So the study we use descriptive analytic analytical statistics for the analysis data collected. So we are the statistical testing, we are using EBU 8. EBU 8 and then version 8. Okay, EBU version 8, thank you, sir. So co-integration test because it has to do with uh, time series. So and uh, of course the major thing is that if you look at USA, yeah. Japan, China, India, the automotive industry has made tremendous impact in the economy. And it is believed that if Nigeria too, with the involvement and intervention of government, we can make uh, we can make impact and it will generate employment, it will generate uh, you know, it will have positive impact on the uh, gross domestic. Thank you. Okay, thank you.